For Thanksgiving, I ordered a uh, brisket from a company called Wild Fork. It's one of these meat meat uh, proprietors online. They have a store. They ship you the stuff frozen with dry ice. It's supposed to be from, you know, like, you know, smaller independent uh, farmers and stuff. Good quality meat. You know, you can get... Different grades of stuff. You can get the Wagyu. You can get the you can get the Prime. You can get Choice. You can get Select. You can get any cut you want delivered. I love the brisket that I got for Thanksgiving. Came out fantastic. Seventeen pounder. Ooh, big boy. So I go on uh, the website Wild Fork, and they have a, a pitch for me, if you will. Pops up in my browser. It says, "Patrick, you look fat as fuck." You look like a guy that probably likes to eat meat by the barrel load. And I was like, go on. And they're like, we got a deal for you. Free delivery on all your orders for a year. Now, they have everything, right? They got spices that you can need for cooking. They got sides and uh, other items and stuff. But they got pork. They got beef. They got turkey. They got wild game. They got hot link sausages. They got ground uh, uh, meat mixtures and and all the things you could want. Different cuts. Everything. Every cut you could want. It's really a Willy Wonka wonderland. This wild fork. I was like, you know what? I'll uh, I'll sign up for this, and from now on, I'll get all my meat from this. I'll load up my freezer in the garage. I'll, I'll order all my meat from Wild Fork. It'll come. I was really happy with that brisket. Let's do it. $29. I joined this uh, Wild Fork membership free delivery because I loaded up a cart now with some ground beef, some chicken, some hot links, uh, a pork butt, and a brisket flat. I was interested in trying a brisket flat. This is uh, basically just the flat, thin, thinner part of the brisket, not the point, the really fatty part, thicker part. And I thought it'd be a nice, like, smaller portion if I just wanted to, to smoke some brisket and not, you know, have a party. And it told me that the average size for this would be five to six pounds, and I was like, sure, you know. And I ordered it. Instead of a 17-pound brisket, I'll smoke the brisket flat. Let's see how this comes out. Do it as an experiment. little fun thing. Loaded up my cart with meat from Wild Fork. I was so excited to use my new membership. He said, sounds like an ad. Well, wait. You tell me if it sounds like an ad in a minute, okay? <laughs> um. So <laughs> I get my... Uh, I get my package. Now, what Wild Fork does is they authorize your credit card for the average, for the price of the average weight of the things you ordered. You order a pork butt, you order a brisket, they all weigh different amounts, right? So they have a pound per price, just like the grocery store. They're going to weigh it once they pack it for you, and then they'll settle with your credit card. So they're going to authorize it for a higher amount for the average. Once it settles, if you got a brisket that weighed more, you'll pay a little more. If you get a brisket that pays that weighs less, you'll pay a little less. Okay? Easy peasy. So they authorized my card for 150 bucks. This is on top of the $29 membership. Fine. Fine. My order comes. I'm so happy. I unpack uh, the brisket flat. It is a 1.37 pound brisket flat i i was told it'd be five to six now i understand nobody's perfect but 1.3 pound brisket flat was about this size okay about that size if i put that on my grill to smoke it it will dry out and become nothing inedible and even if it did come out fine let's say through some miracle because this thing would be up to temp in in an hour. It's so little. Uh, it might make a sandwich or two. You know what I mean? This thing's gonna shrink up once all the moisture.
goes out of it. I look at the uh, actual charge for this brisket. They charge me for a two-pound brisket flat. Now, I don't have a problem with rounding, but when I get 1.3 pounds and it gets rounded to two, and both of those measurements are miserable, I have a bit of a problem. So I hit up Wild Forks customer service. I said, hey, you're Wild Fork. You guys seem like you're into me. Funny story. You sent me a 1.3 pound brisket flat. You, you charged me for two. So now I'm paying $18 for this nine pounds of, uh, $9 a pound brisket, which after I cook it, I'm going to have 0. 0.3 pounds of. Somebody said, just go to Arby's. They have the meats. I might go to old uh, Snake River or one of these other competing companies. I like, I, I, I love to order my meat from a place. I'd love that. And I don't want any special treatment, but I want treatment. This is what these motherfuckers said to ya boy. Thanks for contacting Wild Fork Food so you can contact, uh, so you can uh, track the status of your request. Use a unique ID number um, for your reference. Okay, well, my my whole ticket's been assigned an ID number now. This is going to be great. Wild Fork is taking care of me. And you know why? Because I'm a member. I paid $29 for it. They know I'm a premium customer. <laughs> oh, boy. I got a reply. This is what it said. Hi, Patrick. Thanks for uh, contacting Wild Fork Customer Service. Like many online grocery retailers, we temporarily authorize your card for a higher amount. This temporary hold or pending charge will be reflected on your statement um, with the items of your order are weighed. Once the team weighs your items, a final charge will be captured. It's like, oh. So what I already knew. Okay, this is like repeating information I already knew, which, by the way, again, I explained all of this in my original request. Hey, I was authorized for a 5.7 pound brisket. I received a 1.3 pound brisket. I was finally charged for a two pound brisket. And then you reply to me, oh, we usually charge you, we authorize it for a higher one, but then we change it back. I'm like, right, you've done that. You've done that. And that's what I told him. So I understand that. I was authorized for a six pound flat. I got charged for a two pound flat. I received a 1.3 pound flat. Now what? And this is how I this is how I handle customer service. I'm very angry. I want to get that tone across to them. They need to know I mean business. This is the reply. Two days later, March 29th, I sent this, okay? On the 31st, yesterday, I get this. Hey, this is Wild Fork. We're giving you a friendly follow-up. We'll close this ticket for now, but if you have any other concerns, let us know. They ignored my entire record. <laughs> Not happy. Not happy. And by the way, let me tell you something, Wild Fork. Maybe you didn't notice this. The bottom of all the emails. An order link. He's trying to handle my question, and he pitches me an order. Order today at Wild Fork. Hey, Wild Fork, I have a problem with an order, okay? I have a problem with an order. I clearly know how to fucking order. This is all they do. All they do. Just want me to order. No customer service. You know, what am I supposed to do? Where do y'all where do y'all get your meats? Al Albertsons? Albertmans? How do you say it? Constantly pitching me. Constantly. And then look at this. Another link. Order now. Order now. Fix my order. This is my ultimatum, I said to him. I replied, no one answers two days ago by, and you just 
close the issue. I'll be calling to get a refund on my membership if this is the service you're going to provide me. Last chance, Wild Fork! <laughs> Talk to everyone like it's life-threatening. Let me tell you something. If you're not living your life <laughs> by screaming at strangers over the internet, you're missing out. You are missing fucking out. I don't know how you talk to the guy you get your meat from, but I guarantee it's better than I talk to Bruce, the guy over at Wild Fork doing my stuff. And I hope they hear this, you know, Wild Fork. I hope you hear this. I will be filing a chargeback for the amount of that brisket and for my membership. And... Just in case you haven't printed my card yet or laminated it, don't bother. You hear me? Because I don't want it. You won't catch me. You won't catch me flaunting my Wild Fork membership. This has been insulting on levels you can't imagine. It would be insulting if it was like a small peon. But I'm a celebrity, you know. I try to rise above. And people, when they see me coming, should get out of my way. Or bow, you know, one or the other. Either is appropriate, frankly. Did you ask to speak to the assistant manager? That's the thing. It's like, where do you even go with this wild fork, you know? It's probably just a couple kids in a garage slaughtering pigs. It's probably not even a real business. For all I know, this could be the next Theranos. It's not even meat. 